Here we've been given the function f of x equals 3 times x cubed plus 2 and asked which of the following is the graph of the inverse of this function. So we're, we've been given all these choices here, right? So what we need to do is decide which one of those is the inverse function. All right, so what we want to do, the easiest and fastest way to do these since they are multiple choice, is to start by making a table of ordered pairs for the given function and keep your values that you're going to use um, simple and small. So I'm going to try negative 1, 0, and 1. And then using the given function, I'm going to plug in each x value. So 3 um, times negative 1 cubed plus 2. That will give me negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. So now I've got one ordered pair for my original function, negative 1 comma negative 1. Okay, now on my inverse function though, remember the relationship of inverse functions to the original function that they are inverting, that they can invert or undo, is to switch the x and y coordinates. Now this happens to be negative 1, negative 1, so switching them doesn't change anything. I still have negative 1, negative 1. All right, what about when I plug in 0 to my f function, then I have 3 times 0 cubed plus 2. Um, so this part 0 is out, and then I just have 0 comma 2. So that's the second point on my original function. Now swapping the x and y value, I get 2 comma 0. And I'll do one more. So plugging in 1 to my original function, I'll have 3 times 1 cubed plus 2. That'll give me 3 plus 2, which is 5. So I've got the point 1 comma 5. And if I switch the x and y, then I have 5 comma 1. All right, now what I'm really focused on now is this and seeing which one of these graphs has these points on it um, because that will be my inverse of f. All right, so let's try the first one. So let's try the point 2 comma 0. And the reason I'm skipping negative 1, negative 1 is because it's also on the original function. So I'm going to look at ones that would only be on the inverse. So I'm choosing to look at 2 comma 0 first. So going to 2 on the x-axis and then 0 does not work out on this first option. Let's try it on the next one. 2 comma 0 does not work out on this one either. The third option, 2 comma 0 is there. Okay, good. So this one has is the only one that has 2 comma 0 on it, so it's probably the answer unless we made a mistake somewhere. But let's try another um, ordered pair. Let's try 5 comma 1. Again, you see 5 comma 1 does not fall on this graph. 5 comma 1 does not fall on this one. But it does fall on this one. So this is our answer here. Okay, pretty simple. Um, just to give you more of a visual though, um, let's add a little bit more background to if this wasn't multiple choice, how would you answer something like this? So let's review how to take a given function and figure out the equation of its inverse function. All right, so the function given was f of x equals, let's try here, f of x equals 3x cubed plus 2. So the procedure for finding the inverse of a function is to start by replacing the f of x with just y in the notation. Then you switch the domain and range. So basically you just write your x where the y is and your y where the x is or was. Then you solve for y. So we're going to subtract 2 on both sides. Then we're going to have x minus 2 equals 3y cubed. 
and then we're going to divide by 3. We're just trying to get y alone. It's supposed to be a 3. Okay. And then I'm going to write it this way now. y cubed equals x minus 2 quantity over 3. Then we're going to take the cube root of both sides to get rid of that exponent of 3. And so I have y equals the cube root of x minus 2 over 3. And then we just want to have one last step, and that is to rename the y as uh, with the function notation for the inverse function. All right, so we have f inverse of x equals the cube root of x minus 2 over 3. And let's look at what that looks like graphed. Okay, so here's my original function, 3x cubed plus 2. We know that for inverse functions, the domain and range switches so that it reflects across the y equals x line, the identity function. And here is um, the cube root of x minus 2 over 3, which we figured out to be the inverse function of f. And we see that it's nicely reflected across that y equals x line. Okay, so that is how you answer a question where you need to identify the graph of the inverse function of a given function.